Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today's video is going to be a quick one where we're simply going over how to permanently change the pivot point of a static mesh within your project. Now, there are many different ways, and I've covered them before, of how to change the pivot point. However, they weren't actually permanent. It permanently did it for that specific instance of the mesh. However, if you were to drag in a new instance, it would be reset back to normal. Previously, the only way to actually fix this was to export it into another software like Blender, fix it in there, and then re-import it back into Unreal. But today, I'm going to show you how to actually do it all within the engine. So this is very, very simple. So let me show you an example of why you might want to do this. So if I were to drag this door in here, you can see, well, the pivot point is actually in the middle of it. You can see it here, it's in the middle, which means I'm going to need to drag it up so it's on the floor. And then also, if I want to animate this door opening, it's going to rotate like this, which obviously isn't how doors open. What we want to do is have it rotate on its hinges. So what we can do instead is if we drag one into the level like we have here and select it, then in the top left, we go from selection mode to modeling. We can then go to X form on the left, transforms and conversion, and then press edit pivot. And then you can see here, we have this kind of circle here where we have, all, we have the pivot point of the X, Y, and Z. You can rotate it, move it, everything that you want. So what I'm gonna do is simply just move it onto the right hand side here. So we have it on the hinge where I want it to open and have it where I want it to rotate. And then I'm also going to move it down as well. So it's on the bottom there so that it would just go straight onto the floor. So that is perfect for me. Like so you can move it wherever you want. And if you want to toggle the snapping or change how much a snap was by, you can do that up here using this, the normal snapping tools that you have in the engine. What you can also do is press the box positions here to move it to different areas. So you can set it to the world origin, which sets it all the way to the world origin there. Obviously you can do bottom, which sets it to the bottom of the mesh, top, all of these different ones. So if you just want a default, so you have it to the right there, back, all of these good ones is absolutely perfect. Very, very easy to do. I'm just gonna have it go back to the corner down there. And once you're happy with it, you can simply press accept. And then if we go back to just the selection tool, you can see now if I rotate it, is rotating by that pivot point there. And if we were to drag another instance of this into the level, you can see it's working perfectly. The pivot point is here. It is permanently changed for every instance of this mesh that we want. And we can change this again very easily if we just go back into the modeling tool, X form, edit pivot, we can change this to however we want, as easy as that. And that will be it for the video. Like I say, very, very simple, quick video where I'm just quickly going over and showing you how to permanently modify and change the pivot point of a static mesh, as this is a very simple and basic thing. However, it's something that's also incredibly useful to do because it can save you a lot of time. So you don't have to go through different softwares and it can just make your life a whole lot easier if the pivot points are set up correctly, especially for animating things such as doors. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really helps me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.